In a world of ever-collapsing sci-fi franchises. I'm the doctor. <laughs> where scenes like this were actually approved by adult humans. The power of one. The power of two. The power of many. That's not how the force works. <laughs> The only thing that can save the sci-fi genre is... A show about a magical box. Using a magic box. Oh, that's the plan. It's a bad plan. You're a bad plan. Magic box. Let's go. Do you remember when the sci-fi genre wasn't always trying to force you to think correctly? And instead would just put forth a difficult life question, often without any answers, allowing the audience to engage in the conversation and ultimately decide for themselves what the best path is. If you do, then I highly recommend you check out Apple TV's new sci-fi show, Dark Matter. If you have never heard of Dark Matter or seen the trailer, keep it that way. Not because the show is bad, but because the show is actually pretty good. The reason I advise you from not watching the trailer is not because it spoils the whole show by any means, but it does take away the mystery of the first two episodes. Which is why I wish someone had come along and told me to skip the trailer and just watch the show. So this is me doing that for you right now. You're welcome. Dark Matter is a compelling sci-fi drama with mystery and a bit of action. It's been a long time since I've seen a smart, well-written, original sci-fi show, devoid of any Marvel humor or adults that act like stunted children. Now, full discretion, the show is not finished yet. The next two episodes are due to air in the next two weeks, but... Being seven episodes in, I'm fairly confident in the show's ability at this point, at least well enough to give it a rating, which is a solid 8 out of 10 across the board. That's right, the schmoes and the critics are aligned. Now, this is going to be an unusual review, because I'm not going to reveal anything about the show that hasn't already been given away by the trailer. That being said, if this show sounds like something you would be into, and I can verify it is good, I highly recommend you stop watching this video and go give Dark Matter a watch. And if that is you, no need to come back, I hope you enjoy the show as much as I did, and have a good rest of your day. Now, for the rest of you, Dark Matter is a story about Jason Desen, a Chicago physics professor who has the American dream. A house, stable job, thriving children, and a loving wife. Of course, money is tight, but well, <laughs> it is the American dream after all. However, things change when an old college buddy gets major investors for his scientific breakthroughs, prompting Jason to wonder about the paths not taken. Like, what would have happened if he had chosen his career and ambitions over the family life like his buddy did? Unfortunately, before he has time to even give it a real thought, Jason is kidnapped, drugged, and thrown into a mysterious box. Which, I would say, is a typical Chicago night, but instead of finding himself in a bathtub missing a few organs, Jason wakes up in a world that's far different from his own. He quickly learns that he is in an alternate reality, and the Jason from this reality, who had chosen work over family, had succeeded in inventing their dream. A way to travel between dimensions of infinite possibilities by going superposition. Who has used this technology to replace him in his world and steal his life. Now the race is on for Jason to find his way back home, which will be much harder than he thinks. Because as the show puts it, finding his dimensional home will be like... The world you're looking for is a grain of sand on an infinite beach. Will Jason be able to unlock the mysteries of the box? Will he be able to survive the horrors of the alternate dimensions? Or will he be lost forever to the echoes of time and space? 
And what's evil Jason been doing at home this whole time? <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. What works really well in this story is that it constantly flips between the protagonist Jason story and the evil Jason story. So you get the exciting, albeit terrifying, road trip-esque story of the protagonist Jason jumping from dimension to dimension as he tries to find his way home. And you get a sort of Dexter-like story with evil Jason as he tries to navigate his new life. Constantly dodging suspicion and the police for things he's done and continues to do in order to survive. All of which culminates under a well-crafted narrative. Now, if you're familiar with my reviews, you know I am a stickler for narrative cohesion. Meaning, when something doesn't make sense within the narrative you've created, it sticks out to me like a sore thumb. And in this show, I was surprised that when I would have narrative-breaking questions like, why would this person do this? Or, why would a corporation fund something like this? Nearly every single time, those exact issues were addressed later on in the show. Meaning, someone actually cared enough to pay attention to the details of this story. And it's crazy that having a functional narrative that actually makes sense is praiseworthy now. But well, welcome to the modern entertainment landscape, huh? The only real negative critique I have for the show is, of course, being a science fiction. Any scientist that knows anything will probably roll their eyes at the quote-unquote science of the show. But, I mean, if Inception can get away with having a bullshit machine that can magically transport someone's mind into another person's, why can't this show have a bullshit cube that can magically transport people between dimensions? I think that's fair. The only other thing is also the CGI is a bit lacking in a few parts as the show went for more epic scenes. But it was never overly too distracting from the narrative and for the majority of the show, the CGI is just fine. All in all, Dark Matter is a good example of how a simple concept, when executed well, can have extraordinary results. I've had a great time watching it, and I'm definitely looking forward to the final two episodes. And like I said, if you miss the smart, well-written, original sci-fi shows that may not have all the bells and whistles of a mega franchise, but are far more thought-provoking and caring with their narrative, then I highly recommend you give Dark Matter a chance. That's all I have to say about it. Thanks for being here, I appreciate you, and I'll catch ya at the next one.